Hi everybody, it's Crystal. So I'm gonna show you how to make this scarf. It's really actually it's really easy, and it worked up really quick. It didn't even really take me very much time. It's made with the uh, uh, tortoise stitch. I th think it's because you can look at it and you can see these look like little turtles. I think. And there's the head. It's really cute. It's really easy. Um, I used this Lion Brand Hometown USA. It's a chunky yarn. Uh, bulky. Size 6. The color that I used is Phoenix Azalea. And that's this one. But I'm going to show you in a different color. Just this plain white. So I'll set this aside here. And I used a size N which is a nine millimeter crochet hook. And for the size, the length that I made, it took me three of these skeins and they're 64 yards each. Okay, now this tortoise stitch, it's real easy. I'm gonna start with the slip knot. It's done in a multiple of five plus two, which means that your starting chain needs to be a multiple, needs to be able to be divided by five. So, one, two, three, four, five, like that. Then you go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And sets of five. And once you get it as long as you want, and your sets of five, you just add two more. So that's how many I did. I did it a total of 15 plus my two. So I did. I started with a chain of 17. But if you want your thicker, you can make it thicker. It actually does work up pretty thick though. With just this, it looks. I guess the chain kind of looks small, but it works up pretty thick as you go. And once once you get your chain made, we're gonna start by single crocheting in the second stitch from the hook. And remember that we never count the one that's on our hook. So there's one and two. Go ahead and single crochet in the second stitch. And then we're going to do a chain of five. One, two, three, four, and five. Now we're going to skip four stitches and then the fifth one we're going to single crochet. So one, two, three, four, skip them four, and in the fifth one put a single crochet. And then we're going to do another chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Skip four stitches. And then, next, and then the next one, we single crochet. So one, two, three, four. Skip all them. Single crochet into the next. And then we'll do a chain of five again. One, two, three, four. Five, skip four, one, two, three, four, and you should have one left. Of course, in case you, unless you made yours bigger. But if you're following me, go ahead and single crochet into that last stitch. Like that. So that's our first row. Okay, now we're going to start off the next row by chaining five. One, two, three, four, five. That chain five is counting as a triple crochet and a chain one. So now what we're going to do is we're going to triple crochet into this chain space right here. And we're going to triple by yarning over twice and going right through the whole chain space. Grabbing your yarn and drawing up a loop. Yarn over and going through the first two loops. Yarn over and go through the next two loops. And yarn and go yarn and over and going through the last two loops. So that's a triple crochet. Now we're gonna do a double crochet. Yarn over once, go through, draw up a loop, and go ahead and finish out your double. Like that. Now we're gonna do a chain of four. One, two, 
three, four. And we're going to slip stitch back down in the first stitch of this chain four. So go back to this very first stitch and slip stitch into it. Like that. Like that. And that kind of created the little head of the turtle. So now we're going to work back down, still working through this loop, and do a double crochet. And now we're going to do a triple. So we yarn over twice and go through. Go through the first two, first two, and last two. So there's your first little <coughs> kind of turtle looking thing, I guess. <laughs> now we're going to chain two. One, two, and we're going to do this again in this next spot. So triple crochet through the, the whole space, double crochet, and then we chain four. One, two, three, four. Go back and slip stitch into the first stitch of that chain four. Slip stitch like that, and then we double crochet again. Twist it up. And then we triple crochet. Like that. And then we're going to chain two again. Now we're going to work it again. <clears throat> right here in this spot. So we triple crochet through this, the whole space. Triple. Double. Chain four. One, two, three, four. Slip stitch back into the first one. Like that. Now we go back and double. And then we triple. like that. Now the difference here, once you're at your end, whenever you get to the end, instead of doing a chain two, we're just going to chain one, and then we're going to triple crochet right here in this very first single crochet down here. So yarn over twice and go right into it, and triple. So that'll make the edges nice and straight, like that. So that's what we got there. Now we're going to start by chaining one and turning. <clears throat> My yarn's got a knot in it here. Sorry about that. Okay, you did your chain one and your turn. Now we're going to single crochet in this very, very first stitch right here. Single crochet. And then we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to jump over to this chain two space right here and single crochet in it. Like that. And then we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Jump over to the next chain two space right here in between your little turtles. Single crochet right through the space. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And then when you make it to the end, we were going to single crochet in the fourth chain of this chain five that we made on the last row. So one, two, three, and the fourth one. Go into it and single crochet. Like that. So that's kind of it. It's just kind of a repeat now of these two rows. So now we're going to start doing these little turtles again. And we'll start by doing a chain of five. Three, four, five, and turning. And then we're going to go into this chain space and do a triple crochet.
and then a double crochet and then we do our chain four one two three four slip stitch back into the first one like that and then double crochet and triple crochet like that and then you chain two one two and jump over here to this next space and do it again so I'm going to go ahead and finish out my little turtle things in these last two spaces okay I finished out that row there and remember when you do this last one it's only a chain one not a chain two so you just chain one afterwards and then we triple crochet right here and single crochet from the previous row so go ahead and yarn over twice and go into it if you can either do the that you can either sing or triple crochet into that single or that chain one it doesn't really matter sometimes it's hard to tell which one you're getting into like that so that's kind of what it's going to look like and then we're going to start our next row again by chaining one and turning single crochet in right back here in this very very first stitch like that and then chain in five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to single crochet right here in this chain two space, right in between the little turtle stitches. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Single crochet in right there. Like that. And then chain in five again. and single crochet in the fourth stitch of the chain five three and four and that is how it's done you just keep repeating these rows until you get your piece as long as you want uh, for mine for the amount of, for the three skeins of yarn that i used and for the length that i made I did 25 of the turtle, so one, two, and I kept going until I had 25 rows of them. Like I said, you can do yours as long or as short as you want. And then if you want to add some fringe onto it, I'll show you how to do that real quick. Add a fringe is real easy. Now you can make your fringe thicker or thinner than not mine, but I use five strands of yarn. And I cut them about 18 inches to 2 feet probably. And of course you can trim them up or you can leave them long if you want. Um, to put the fringe on, you want to put the wrong side of the work facing you. You can see that this is the right side. So make it where the wrong side is facing you. And you can put however many pieces of fringe that you want. On mine I did 4. I put 1, 2, 3, and four but if you want more or just less it's up to you but once you get your pieces made and like I said if you want to use more than five that's fine with the wrong side facing you you fold them in half like that keep your keep the loop or keep it uh, it looped at the top here and just pull it through the, your space like that and make sure they're kind of even at the ends now you just have your fingers in the loop grab both strands and pull them right through the loop like that and then you kind of pull it tight like that and that's how you do it and you can see with the wrong side facing you when you flip it over right side the fringes are going to be knotted on the right side how it ha that's how you want it and just like that so you can and you can do them I did five on mine or four I'm sorry four rows on mine but you can do more if you want so like that and then you just trim them up to the size that you want however long if you want long or short just I always wait till they're all on and then I kind of trim them up together my scissors aren't really that sharp but just like that 
cut them off nice and straight to the length you want. And if you don't want fringe, you don't have to put it on there. But that is it. It's a real easy scarf. It's cute. It didn't take me very long. Maybe not even a couple hours, I don't think, and I was done. Nice Christmas gifts. Um, so I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And if you make this or anything else, I'd really like to see a picture of it. You can post the picture on the Bag of Day Crochet Facebook page. I'll put a link to that below in the description box. And until next time, have a good day.